How did that teacher get fired for at your school? Story 1. Not just that teacher, but the principal. He'd gotten wind that he might be fired because of less than ideal job performance, so he decided to drum up sympathy by belly stabbing himself in the men's room and blaming a student. Said student was arrested, but the police were immediately suspicious of his story when they noticed his shirt was unharmed. In other words, whoever stabbed him courteously lifted up his shirt beforehand so as not to tear a hole in it. He wound up being forced to resign, in addition to getting probation and a heavy fine. Story 2 Male substitute teacher that taught regularly at my Catholic high school who wasn't f For example, he asked us to bend over with both hands against the wall and shake our hips back and forth. Bonus, he subbed for my geography class the following year and during one of his classes I asked to go to the bathroom to take care of my feminine issue. He asked me what kind of feminine issue specifically? I was too embarrassed to say it was my period so I said well, you know. To which he replied, yes, but I want to hear you say it out loud. Creepy. If you made it this far please consider like share and subscribe. Story 3. An hour before the state championship football game the head football coach slash P teacher got a student who wasn't on the team to come up to him and pretend to shoot him. He used fake blood and everything. No one knew it was going to happen and his own son was on the team. Story 4. She didn't get fired but quit. Some students in, students in class found out she miscarried and started hounding her till she broke down and cried under her desk. It was 7th or 8th grade. Story 5. We also had a pregnancy-related crisis with one of ours. The teacher died though. Her husband was an English teacher also at the school. Went from looking like a pale Norwegian to an emaciated ghost. Story 6. She wanted the kids to cheat on the reading test so she can win a pizza party and a trophy. Story 7. I was in elementary school in the late 90s when our school finally got hooked up with internet. I don't know if it was readily available information back then that your history could be accessed, but we had a teacher watching child porn who got caught because he didn't clear his history. Story 8. Middle school coach. Accused of child sexual abuse. Before he could be charged, he jumped in front of a train. Story 9. On Michigan's sex offender registry, there's Lewis Gunter. He was a middle school gym teacher with a history of being a creep with girls. I remember hearing my older sisters talking about him and telling their girlfriends to steer clear of him. I briefly dated the woman who actually put him in prison. He grabbed her hand and forced her to jerk him off in his office adjacent to the locker room. During his trial women came out of the woodwork to say he'd done things to them too. Story 10. Zero, our principal in high school. Her husband cheated on her with another teacher that worked there and they went through a nasty divorce. Next thing you know she's making her way through our football team. I think she slept with three of them and ended up dating one for quite a while. Oddly, I don't recall if she was ever fired or left on her own. Zero, zero, music teacher, also in high school. Cheated on his wife with a middle school music teacher. Then cheated on her with a student that had graduated, cheated on her with a student and got her pregnant and married her. Last I heard he still worked there and was with another recently graduated student. Zero, I'm sure there are more but the last one I can remember was our office secretary in middle school who also taught art class a couple times a week. She was actually a really great lady, but unfortunately for her our school got picked to be on an episode of Sally Jesse Raphael or Ricky Lake, something like that. They had some random people come in throughout the week and ask to pick up a student, and this lady just signed them out. It aired, they interviewed her, and she got fired. Story 11. Had a teacher charging parents extra money for a field trip. Was pocketing the extra money. Story 12. High school gym teacher, apparently he showed up to a hotel room expecting to bang a 13 years old but got busted by the cops instead. Story 13. The bus driver I had in 5th grade was a total nightmare. He'd get us to school on time, but would often get home very late because he'd stop the bus to have screaming meltdowns. 
This was a bus of K5 kids, and while sometimes we could get chatty or rambunctious, no one was doing dangerous or delinquent stuff. Most days, we'd just get on the bus, sit down and chat with friends, and wait to be dropped off. But that was too much for this lunatic, and if he felt that kids were talking too much, or somehow being disrespectful, he'd pull the bus over and scream at us. At length. He'd scare the really little kids, and if you try to apologize or to stand up to him, he's just get louder and angrier. He never touched any of us, but he'd get so mad, we'd worry he was going to shake or spank us. He'd insist that everyone be perfectly still and silent real easy for a terrified kindergarten kid, right, and every little thing he perceived as going against that order would start the screaming again, and restart the clock on the wait for him to start driving again. We got home late often, a few times I remember getting home around the same time as my dad, who had a pretty long commute to and from his 9 to 5 job. I have no earthly idea why none of the parents ever said anything about this, but us kids were too terrified to tell on him. Toward the end of the year, I think a few of us did, I turned him in to save my own hide, my mom started yelling at me for getting home late like I had any autonomy as a 12 year old who rode the damn bus home from the next town over, and I just told her he liked to stop and scream at us, and he wasn't brought back the following year. As an adult, I have a lot of questions for the adults in this situation, and I sincerely doubt that any of their answers will impress me. The dude clearly hated his life but that's no excuse to take it out on a bunch of helpless, trapped kids. Story 14 Good-looking math teacher had a reputation of hooking up with senior girls, like days after graduation. He did this almost every year. People even started to make bets on who Mr. S was going to hook up with this year. There was nothing technically illegal about it because they were all 18 and graduated, but it got to the point where parents were calling in and saying they didn't want their daughters in his class. They were finally able to fire him when he showed up to work drunk. Story 15 My high school had a sub that they used frequently who was eventually fired for repeated instances of pressuring girls to join him in storage closets to listen to his poetry. Luckily, I wasn't one of those girls, but once when he was subbing for my chemistry class he kept interrupting my work to ask me to play tic-tac-toe with him and touching my shoulder. E.W. Story 16 The drama teacher at my high school was arrested for some sort of weird sex sting in the 90s. I can't remember if it involved any students, but it did involve minors and I think CP. He always gave me creepy icky vibes when I was at that school so I wasn't surprised when I saw him on the local news. Story 17 She used to come to school drunk and try to get us to convert to Scientology. I still don't know a single thing about Scientology because no one could comprehend WTF she was talking about. Story 18 When I was in grade 11 we had a teacher exchange with a New Zealand school. Our gym teacher went there, we got one back. The one we got back had an affinity for young girls it seems. Our high school was in a small town and most of the kids were from farming families, and everyone plays hockey including the girls, and I guess our NZ gym teacher didn't know that. After a cross-country running practice he offered to rub down one of the girls in my class and got handsy with her. She kicked the ever-loving shit out of him. Broken nose, two black eyes, split lip, you name it. He was gone immediately but given that it was a small town we all saw him out of school before he got shipped out. The day before he left, he got his ass handed to him again by a couple of relatives of the girl. Honestly, I don't know how he lived to make it to the plane. About a week later our original gym teacher was back and very pissed about having his exchange cut short. Story 19 Super cool guy Vietnam vet some fucking idiot pretended to throw a grenade and the teacher hit the floor. Then apparently punched the kid in the face. Fired. Had a sub the rest of the year who kept bragging about how many planes he has and how he's just counting the time to go flying. But won't take any of us with. Story 20. Male 50-year-old teacher. Too many infractions to name just one. Said about a girl student the only time your moth should be open or when my pants are around my ankles. Got high with the basketball team. Would say show us your tits under his breath about hot chicks to any dudes that were around. Pushed me when I was taking a piss at the urinal and said don't piss on your hands son. 
History teacher who tossed out the entire history curriculum to talk about serial killers. Story 21. One of the elementary school teachers at the district, district I went to got arrested for making his class worship him like he was a cult leader. He was totally bonkers. Story 22. She was a nonce. Then it was discovered she only had sex with the student after he was 16 so it was legal and she got let off. Still ruined her reputation. Story 23. We had a science teacher who was also the football coach. He got fired because he kept sexually assaulting the female students. Looking down shirts constant touching when not needing. They claimed it was due to not winning football games but enough reports stated otherwise. Story 24. The attractive math teacher was replaced with a permanent substitute teacher a few weeks before the principal was placed on leave and eventually replaced by the vice principal. Turns out they were hooking up. Many years later I was talking to a bartender in another town. The former principal was his high school football coach just before starting at my school. It seems he lied on his resume about having the credentials to be a principal. Story 25. A rumor said she gave a student a blowjob. She was new and attractive, it could have been a jealous student or teacher, it was unfounded, but the Christian school was pressured to fire her. And me. A parent thought teaching was a woman's job and that a young man such as myself, even if I was just an aide, was only there to pray after children. The parent gave donations to the school, so naturally, the school decided to look into the allegations. When the school saw the allegations that I was specifically targeting the parent's daughter was false, she claimed I interacted with her during the day, I worked after school, she made the claim I was targeting all the other kids. Of course unfounded, but she was determined to see this through. She threatened to stop donating to the school and contact the school board. By this time, the school decided that I was a sacrificial lamb and let me go, only telling me the allegations day of and the reason for letting me go, naturally I was broadsided and stunned. Did I mention this school was the one I attended? So the staff knew me growing up? But money talks. The event destroyed any dreams of me being a teacher. Story 26. I got front row seats so to speak of a teacher losing his shit and attempted to choke my little brother out. Dude was like 5 feet 5 inches and my baby brother is 6 feet 2 inches and was an athlete. My brother never fought back, just looked down at him and asked if he had lost his mind. The teacher was foaming at the mouth cussing him out with his hands wrapped around my brother's neck. A big crowd instantly formed as everyone poured out of surrounding classrooms and the calculus teacher, who was also a big dude, grabbed the other teacher picking him up and pulling him off my brother. Best part is this was in the early 2000s when cell phones with cameras had just become a thing. This was a rural school that tried to shut it down and rug sweep immediately which obviously they weren't even able to attempt because kids called the cops as it was happening and pictures were all over MySpace before my mom was even called about the incident. Also my mom is psychotic, used to take pride in weightlifting so was built like a brick house with boobs, and my brother was her golden baby. She showed up, they asked her not to press charges and then she found out the details and promptly went over the desk at the dude hiding behind the principal. When they wouldn't let her have her way, she spoke with the cops and then stomped off to the superintendent's office. It was a small town, she was well known and no one was ever happy when she showed up. Teacher was escorted out in cuffs and fired. His room had a sub for the rest of the year. All this happened because my brother corrected this guy on a math problem and apparently his ego couldn't take that. We also found out he'd been fired from his last teaching job for a similar incident where he assaulted a student. Story 27. Eighth grade math teacher. He was arrested for corresponding with an underage girl in an inappropriate manner. The thing is, a lot of us girls kept saying amongst ourselves how we thought when he was going around checking homework, he would bend down as if getting close to our chests. It was a bit creepy. We weren't totally shocked when he was arrested halfway through the school year. Story 28. Music teacher who was said to have played the piano with his penis in front of his class. I'm not sure if this is true or just a rumor, but he was never seen in the school after this.